Hey everyone, this is Yoga Shree. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a soft skills special on how to effectively network. Five really quick tips. That way you can use them for your next conference. So stay tuned. Before we get to the video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content in the oil and gas industry or professional development topics in the oil and gas industry, as I'm very passionate about those things. Be sure to comment on my videos as well. That way I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. I hope you enjoy the content. The first tip that I wanted to share with everyone on the five easy networking tips is join groups of people that are more than two whenever you're going to join a group of people for networking. That way, if you see two people that are interacting with each other, chances are that they're having an intimate conversation. And if you're the third wheel in that conversation, you're more likely going to interrupt them. So if there's a group of three people talking amongst each other, it is a lot more elegant to join those group of people. The next tip I wanted to share is where you hold your food. Typically you hold your drink or you hold your food on your right hand. And whenever you want to go up to somebody and shake their hand, you immediately shift the food or drink to your left hand and shake their hand. That's a little less elegant. If you had your plate of food or your drink on your left hand, then all you need to do is shake with your right hand. It's a lot more elegant that way and you don't have to look like you're shifting around your food whenever you're going to shake people's hands while networking. It's just a smoother way of how you can meet people. Tip number three is yes, the business cards. I strongly suggest that whether if you have a job or not, make sure you have your business cards with you. You can go to websites such as vistaprint.com to order some of those business cards and you can custom make your business cards if you are looking for work. And you can, the benefit of all that is you can put your title, whatever you want. If you want to be a petroleum engineer, go ahead and put down you want to be a petroleum engineer. If you are a reservoir engineering specialist, go ahead and put down that specialist title. The world is your oyster when it comes to making up your own business cards. And there is no excuse to have no business cards whenever you are looking for work. In fact, it's more than necessary or the time is even more needed to have business cards whenever you're looking for work. Tip number four is the follow-up. Make sure you follow up with the contacts after you've exchanged business cards up to 24 hours after meeting them. Chances are your contacts are gonna forget that they even met you unless you contact them first or you contact them immediately. Just to let you know, I'm not the best when it comes to this and this is something that I have to keep remembering whenever I am exchanging business cards or networking with people at events. I mean, when you have a bag full of business cards, it's hard to keep up sometimes to, to, to reach out to these people. But I will let you know that it is a must and people will remember you when you follow up with them pretty quickly. The last tip is going to be about alcohol. At these networking events, you're gonna have a lot of drinks available to you. And you sometimes you have more than one drink ticket to use. The rule of thumb is to have only one drink if you must at these networking events. Usually that's a good rule of thumb. At the end of the day, it is up to you. You know your body best on how much alcohol you can take. But if you have a little too much to drink, there can be a lot of social disgraces that can happen when it comes to these events. And people will definitely remember a bad impression as much of a good impression. First impression is very, very important, and alcohol can make or break that. Well, that's a wrap on the five effective networking tips that can help you whenever you're going to your next conference or your next happy hour. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on the content that I mentioned today, and I'll definitely incorporate your feedback into the next soft skill specials. Remember, networking is a give and a take relationship as opposed to a take, take, take relationship. And remember to ask what you can do for other people before you ask what they can do for you. Happy networking.